Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pepsi Stadium on the campus of North Greenville University, where Christ makes the difference for today's regular season match between the Erskine Flying Fleet and your North Greenville Crusader. For today's starting lineups, first for the visitors, your Erskine Flying Fleet. Number double zero, CJ Cluck. Number two, Chad Savage. Number four, Ross Henderson. Number eight, Joe O'Neill. Number 10, Luke Boyce. Number 13, Grant Dickey. Number 16, Elliot Jones. Number 23, Eduardo Golino. Number 26, Zakeem Smith. Number 27, Mateo Laredo. Number 37, Talez Dominique. Your flying fleet are coached by Warren Turner and assisted by Brandon Costa. And now the starting lineup for your North Greenville Crusaders. At goalkeeper, number one, Matteo Barzola. At defender, number five, Lucas Gravely. At midfield, number six, Johnny Lynn. At midfield, number 10, Victor Lobby. At forward, number 12, Chris Sinman. At defender, number 15, Doug Cordy. At defender, number 18, Jake Quinn. At midfield, number 21, Casey Brady. At midfield, number 26, Shores Van Eck. At forward, number 33, Asa Wolf. 
at midfield. Number 36, Joe Sievers. Your Crusaders are coached by Chad Gefeller and assisted by Kyle Walden. At this time, we ask that you please rise for the invocation and remain standing as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Father God, we just come before you today, Lord. Thank you for this evening. Lord, we thank you for life, Lord. We just ask that you will protect the players in this game, Lord. We just ask that you will just keep them during this time. Let us play for your glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At this time, we would like to thank all of our sponsors, Crown Plaza, Hemp, We would like to thank all of our sponsors, Crown Plaza, Hampton Inn of Traveler's Rest, Nate's Pizza, Moe's of Greer, Braden Automotive, and Pepsi. North Greenville University encourages and promotes good sportsmanship from student athletes, coaches, and spectators. It is our request that you support the officials and participants in this contest in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, and sexist comments or other derogatory actions directed at student athletes, coaches, officials, or team representatives will not be tolerated in our grounds and removal from Pepsi Stadium. In addition, tobacco products and alcoholic beverages are not permitted anywhere on campus. Thank you for your cooperation. We hope you enjoyed today's match. Welcome back to Pepsi Stadium here in Tigerville, South Carolina for game number two. This time, men's soccer versus Erskine. Erskine comes in this contest with a 2-3-1 and one record, that one being a tie in their last game against King University. They face North Greenville. That was a one and four record, won their season opener against Brevard, but has dropped four straight North Greenville in desperate need of a win here tonight. So North Green will be defending the left goal. Erskine on the right. North Green will go from left to right. Erskine from right to left. So the fleet with four defenders in the backfield. North Green will setting up with four as well. Right now, Erskine looking to press the attack down the mid part of the field. Number 13, that's Grant Dickey. He'll pass off. Number six, Landro Belenos out of Peru. And pass back number 23, Eduardo Galino by way of Italy. And now number four, Ross Henderson. And now here comes a cross deep into the box. That shot bounced up and over the crossbar by number 36 for North Greenville, Joe Severs providing the decent defense. So 
So Erskine looking for a cross on their side of the box, stolen away by North Greenville on the far end. And contact, two players go down. And it, that should be North Greenville ball. Yes, it is. North Greenville's been outscored 14 to one, the lone goal coming against Lander. And the blowout loss, the Bearcats took that one 6-1. So North Greenville not only looking for a win, but try and lessen the goals allowed. Now North Greenville pressing the attack down this, down this right wing. Ball kept in bounds by Erskine. Number six, Johnny Lynn ran out of room. Now here comes number 10, that's Victor Lobby into the Erskine box, looking for room, evades the defense, tries to cross to his teammate. And that was Number 17, James Max Miller falling down on the far end of the box, had an open look, just couldn't get himself up in time. Ball goes out of bounds on the far sideline and it's intercepted by Erskine. So here comes the Flying Fleet trucking down the left wing. It's number two for Erskine, Chad Savage. They pass back number six, that's Bolanos again. Bolanos on the right wing, looking for a cross in the box. Here it comes, and a shot into the back of the net off the foot of number four, Ross Henderson. What a strike, and the fleet take the lead in the second minute. Ross Henderson with the goal for Erskine. Flying fleet up 1-0. Only in the, excuse me, third minute of this contest. So the Crusaders in a hole early. We'll have to play from behind. But here comes number 21, trying to plus forward Casey Brady. Can't get an open look. Here's number 10, that's Lobby again. Erskine battling for it, they knock it away. Here comes number one, Nicholas Willenborg. Willenborg has the pass back. Finds number two, Savage. Savage slide tackles it to the far side. Now they get the pass back. Number 37 is there for Erskine. Tails Dominiques out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. That pass goes in between the legs of a North Greenville player wandering in the Erskine backfield. That's what all the oohs were for. And now that player almost had it. I think that's Lobby. North Greenville gets it back, number six, Johnny Lind. Now here comes a pass down the field, looking to the far wing from number 15, Doug Cordy. And North Greenville can't get any a good number forward, and Erskine will take back over. Flying Fleet looking down the field. North Greenville intercepts the pass. Now we're just gonna work it back down the field. North Greenville intercepts, middle part of the field. Now they try to swing it out wide to the left wing. North Greenville looking for a cross, trying to evade the defense. Here comes a cross, all the way to the right wing, headed up and away by Erskine. Now they try to get it back in the box. Number six, Lind, back to Lind. He stumbles and he lets the ball get by him. And that's gonna be a goal kick. And that goal by Ross Henderson was his first of the season for the Erskine Flying Fleet. Now Ross Henderson, the senior, out of Lincoln, England, by way of William Farr, C of E. His last school listed. Deflection off of number 18 for North Greenville, Jake Quinn. 
Erskine still in firm control. Ball goes out of bounds. Flying fleet ball. Throw in for number 23, Galino. Lots of contact on the near side. Flying fleet will maintain that contact between number 26 for North Greenville Shores, Vanek. Number 37 for Erskine. That is Dominique's. Just over six minutes in to this contest. Erskine already up 1-0. Now here comes the cross into the box and saved by the keeper for NGU. And he'll line drive it out of there. And Erskine clears it up and halfway up the hill off of Zakeem Smith. Throw in for the, throw in for the Crusaders. That one goes out of bounds, they'll still have it. Bad, a nice header back, but right to Erskine by number 15, Cordy. Erskine trying to get something going back the other way. Number four in the area, Henderson again, but able to clear it out as North Greenwood. Battle for it at midfield. L back in, L back in. Together, together, Red. North Greenville trying everything they can to get into Erskine's defensive half. That one popped away. Oh, that looks like a 28, 28, Walker Riley. Erskine still in control. Number 33 for North Greenville hanging around in the Erskine backfield. That is Asa Wolf. Erskine playing keep away in their defensive half of the field. Now Erskine formulating another attack. There goes Dominiques down the left wing. Keeps the ball away from North Greenville. He'll pass back. Gets the chip shot over his head. Still being pressured by NGU. And North Greenville gets the ball to the deflection. But Erskine still in business. Henderson hanging around. And Lynn finally gets it out of there. Good slide tackle by number 23, Galino. And Erskine still trying to battle it away for North Greenville. Looks like they have it for the moment. There goes Dominiques to the middle of the field. Henderson, he's already got one, looking for more. Has a shot go wide, and it's picked up by the keeper for NGU. Erskine, want, Erskine intercepts the goal kick. North Greenville wanting a handball, and they will be rewarded with possession, so it looks like they got the call. Free kick for the Crusaders. That's number five, Justin Gravely takes it. Or Lu Lucas. Lucas Gravely. Now North Greenville trying to get it on the far end of the box. Number 12, Chris Enman looking for help. Erskine clears it out. North Greenville, nice little back heel there. Now it's Johnny Land here on the near side of the box. Tries to cross back in. Erskine deflects it out. Land tries a shot. Still in bounds. He'll have another. That one goes wide. This one headed in, but saved by Erskine. Good attack, Crusaders just gotta keep that up and eventually one's gonna land in the back. Gravely goes after that one, wins the battle, Crusaders get the ball back. Now Erskine, deep pass down the field, looking for number two, that's Savage. And he has a shot 
trickle right to the keeper, no problem over there in the back of the, no problem in the goal for NGU. We have a whistle. Play stopped momentarily, North Greenville gets it back. Free kick in for the Crusaders. Goes right back to the Erskine defense. North Greenville able to cut the pass away for the moment. They're looking to get forward. Try to get a chip shot over number 33. Almost had himself an open lane. Wolf again. He goes after the ball. And Erskine able to keep possession of it. It deflects out of bounds off of NGU. Throw in for the fleet. Deflected out of, out of bounds again. Erskine trying to chip shot it. There goes Henderson. He's behind the defense, near side of the box. Henderson cross right to the keeper. No problem out there. Greenville steals it away. Number 21, Casey Brady there first. Now they try to go far side. Number 12, Chris Enman. That one's going away by Erskine. The flying fleet. Another deep pass. Once again, looking for Henderson. Keeper way off his marks. He gets a header on it, and it's out of bounds. Throw in to the fleet. Ball goes out of bounds. They will call a goal kick for NGU. <laughs> this kick will make it to midfield. Head it up. Adaris get able to get it away. Gravely gives chase and he'll get it back for his offense. Now North Greenville looking to set up a deep pass down the field. Erskine ready to cover that one. Foul called past the midfield stripe in Erskine territory. Number 10 for NGU, ready to take us, Victor Lobby. There comes the kick into the box, and this one headed on goal, but saved by the Flying Fleet keeper. Greenville able to intercept that pass. Erskine retains their composure and gets it back. Gravely heads that one back. But once again, Erskine there. Now here comes Erskine looking for more. They pass near side number two. That is Savage. Looking for a cross into the box. Gets tangled up with a defender for NGU. Gets around him. Here comes a cross into the box right to the keeper, Matteo Berzola. Good kick this time by Berzola. Henderson knocks that away, but Gravely comes over to send it back down the field. And G's still trying to look at, to get down the field, but nobody in the area. Oh, and 
Erskine almost has a fast break down the near side. Dominique's in business. North Greenville is there to cover. Number 26, Shores Venick. There to prevent the breakaway. Another North Greenville pass stolen away by Erskine. Dominique's flipping it forward to Henderson. But North Greenville again there to knock it away. Now they try to get a pass down the left wing. Erskine will get to it first. Now here comes Johnny Lind racing out to cover it. Has the ball knocked away. He's still trying to recover it. Erskine will get it away before he can get back to it. Again, Asa Wolf gets in the Erskine backfield, but can't cause enough damage to get the ball away. Erskine helps themselves out and maintains. Dominique will press forward again. Pass across to Henderson. Now pass back number six. Now they'll cross it to the near side. Land is there and pops it back. Now Asa Wolf in control. Near side tries to back heel it. As Vanek runs into two Erskine defenders. And the fleet unable to come away with it. North Greenville steals it away. Now they'll head back the other way. Number 10, Lobby. Over there with number 12, Inman. That's a pass back. Henderson able to get the ball away from Gravely. Henderson has a two on one. He's at the disadvantage. Stops in the box, takes a shot, and it's off the gloves and into the back of the net. Off of Bar Barzola. And Erskine has two goals. And Henderson gets his second goal of the season and the second goal of the game. North Greenville's down 2-0. 26-45. That's the play and the clock's not started. Now it has. North Greenville needs to get something positive going. Here it comes. Here comes a pass down the left wing. Across into the box. And Erskine able to get to it first. Johnny Lind was there, just not in time. Throwing for North Greenville on the far side. Headed around in the box, now cleared away by Erskine. North Greenville not done yet though, but now Erskine finally boots it away. There goes Henderson giving chase again, looking for a hat trick. Now North Greenville trying to get something started again. Kicked out of bounds by number 27 for Erskine, Mateo Laredo. And Erskine will get the ball. Now Johnny Lynn trying to get in the backfield. Mess up the defense. Doesn't get there in time to take the pass away though. Now Wolf giving the defenders a little bit of trouble. And we have a foul somewhere on the field. And Erskine should get the ball back. Oh, 
number 23 for the fleet, Eduardo Galino. They'll try to pass downfield to Dominiques, and Dominiques wanting a foul against number 15 for NGU, Cordy, but he won't get it. And here comes a deep pass from Grant Dickey, looking down the field. Lucas Gravely able to pick that one up. North Greenville still battling for control. Wolf trying to find Lobby, but Erskine able to get it into their defender. Back, they're defending backfield again. Working on the right wing. Henderson again with it. Doesn't have the deep pass, he'll have to go back. Just keep rolling it! Now here comes another deep pass, but Vanek gets in the way of it. Greenville gets it off the foul against Erskine. It'll be a free kick right here in front of their own bench. Here's the kick from Vanek looking down the field for Lind. Erskine able to head it away. So Savage working against Vanek. Vanek wins, he'll get the ball back. Long throw in for him, finds Lind, tries to get the back heel. That was picked up by number 23, Galino, for Erskine. Now they'll work the right wing again. Pass back to the keeper. And number 16, Elliot Jones. He'll bring it up. Pass off to Dominique's. Nice offensive moves there, there, there on the right wing by Erskine, but North Greenville able to cut the pass out. Number 21 over there on defense, Casey Brady. Ball still inbound somehow, and North Greenville finally pokes it out. Here's Gravely, has it deflected up, but right to the keeper for NGU, Brazola. He'll get a good kick down the field. North Greenville racing to get numbers forward. There goes Lobby. Lobby bringing it over here on this right wing. Passes back to the middle field. Had Wolf deflects off of him and picked up by Erskine. They'll head back the other way. Has Henderson in the middle of the field again. Henderson able to spin away from the pressure. Still looking down the field. This one, he'll go to Savage on the left wing. Shores Vanek giving chase. Savage can't get the cross in, and it's a goal kick for Brazola. Erskine has been furious offensively. They are not slowing down, and they have been running full pace for 25 minutes. It's quite impressive, actually. No, shines of let no signs of letting up either. North Greenville try to get something going. This time, they'll move down the right wing. There goes Johnny Lind. He's onside. Tries to get in the box, has Wolf. Wolf goes to the far side and misses everybody for a goal kick for Erskine.
Ball goes out of bounds. Then Starskin, North Green will get it back as it had Chad Savage running a little too far down the left wing. Erskine gets it right back to off the throw in. Henderson, he's got two. The two for Erskine so far. And North Green will be able to steal the pass away just across midfield. There goes Victor Lobby. And has the ball stolen away by Erskine on that sideline. Now they're still scrapping for it. Labby not giving up. Gets it back. Dumps a pass off. And on the pass back, Erskine able to steal it away. And Casey Brady goes down trying to hang on to it. Nice spin move there by Grant Dickey. He'll dump it off to his teammate on the right wing. Now they'll try to get across into the box. Here it comes. And wide of the right post. Out of bounds. Goal kick for Barzola. Here comes another cross, this one headed up. One-handed save by Brazola, danger's not over yet. And Shores Vanek finally gets it away. And North Greenville stays off the pressure for another few minutes. Yeah, there goes Wolf. He'll pass off on the left wing. They'll pass back to the center back, Gravely. Now North Greenville try to work the middle of the field. Number 18, unable to get anything going, Jay Quinn is there. Now Erskine back the other way. They have Henderson down the field where he's been most of the night. Gravely gets to that one again. And knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with Erskine now. Hold protect the four, right? Uh, number 10 is more your role. As the ball will come out here, Eddie's got time to get six. And here comes a deep shot just wide of the left post from outside the box. And North Greenville. Lucky to not have three on the scoreboard. Andre Sakar subbed in for number 33, Asa Wolf on the North Greenville side. As well as number 11, Juan Carlos Regalado. And now Erskine looking, now they're looking for number three. Savage trying to find Henderson, but Dominique picks up the pass. The pass attempt to clear it away by North Greenville. Now they'll try again. Vanek boots that one away. Now they'll try the left wing. North Greenville going way down the field, stolen away by Erskine. A couple of players get tangled up, still battling for it. North Greenville able to get it back across midfield. They'll pass back. Erskine's there waiting for it. And the offside flag goes up from the far side official. North Greenville will get it back. A couple of flying fleet substitutions ready to come on. Number 40, Billy Gray, and 35 is Gunnar Gilland. Another pass, the way on that far side. North Green will get it back though. And a deep cross into the box. North Greenville has a man open that is kicked back. And here comes Lynn, he can't get it in either. And now the offside flag on the near side goes up. Juan Carlos Regalado had all day, but could not get the solid contact he needed. Now, 
Erskine looking to counter. They find Savage behind the defense and the offside flag goes up from the far side official. Battle for it back and across midfield. North Greenville looks like they might, they might have it. Here comes a chip shot to Lind. Goes just to his left, cleared away by the fleet. Here's Henderson looking to adjust to correct the ball. And he gets out raced by number 15, Doug Cordy, who gets it back to Brazola and sends it back the other way. Trying to find Regaldo or Regalado. Erskine. Able to get it right back though, number 23, Ed Adoro, Ed Adordo Galino. Able to cut it away, ball goes out of bounds on the far side. Looks like the fleet have it. And now, those substitutes we mentioned before, Gilland and Gray come in. Able to cut the pass away on Erskine's right wing. Try to stick it to the middle of the field. Lots of space, but nobody here on the right wing. Now they'll keep working the left wing. Now, here comes the pass. Straight on the far side. Lynch doesn't get the good contact. Slow roller right to the keeper. Easy save for Erskine. Hurst in the ball game for the fleet. Whitehurst passes in the backfield. Number 16, Wyndon House. Now they work it downfield. Henderson had it for a moment, he'll pass away. Trying to find Savage, Miss Tyne. Savage, they missed time the pass. Say, just get it back. Hot, high contact on this one, sails out of bounds. And that should be flying fleet ball. Ball goes out of bounds, North Greenville. Get it back. Erskine blocking to the ball. Try and pass down the far side, now they have to go back. Henderson giving chase. Crusaders able to clear it out for the moment and if they can't keep it in bounds, they'll give it back to Erskine. down the left wing. Number 23, Galena, passes back to Henderson. Here comes a chip shot to the goal, off target though, and saved by Brazola. Under 10 minutes to play in the first half. 
Flying Fleet up 2-0. Both goals courtesy of Ross Henderson. Kept in bounds by the fleet, but picked up by North Greenville. Now they'll look for space over there on the far side wing. Erskine able to hand it away. Number 35 will pick it up for the fleet. Gunner Gilland. Lots of big battles at midfield. North Greenville, number 11, able to win that one. Regalado. Has a pass go out of bounds. Lind ready for the throw in. And now Erskine wants a handball, but they'll get the ball anyway as it goes out of bounds. back to the keeper. Erskine in no rush, they're up 2-0. Now they'll try the deep pass again. Lucas Gravely there, not heads it away. This pass knocked up straight in the air. Comes down and who will come away with it? Crusaders, try to get some momentum going forward. Casey Brady in open space and all of a sudden Erskine comes out of nowhere and able to knock it away. But a foul against the Flying Fleet will get the Crusaders within striking distance. And that just might be the break North Greenville's needed. Got to get something going in the halftime as we have a shoe timeout. Free kick for the Crusaders on the left wing. Drive into the box and saved, deflected by the keeper, not saved. They're still scrapping for it in the box and now Erskine will clear it out. And the breakaway by number 36, or number 36 for North Greenville saves the breakaway. Joe Severs prevented Henderson from getting away with what very well, very well, very well may have been his third goal. But Sever's able to hang on to it. And now, in the box, North Greenville unable to get the header to go in. Had to keep her out of position. Crusaders still not done yet. Here's Brady. Now they might be done. Whitehurst, deep down the field, looking for Henderson for a hat trick on the near side of the box. Nobody else with him forward. And now here comes someone to help him out. He'll pass back to Savage. And that one's going to go out of bounds. Two subs come in for the Flying Fleet. That's number 30, Martin Vindebeek, and number 29, Darnell Oliver. In for numbers 4 and 27, that's Ross Anderson, who scored the two goals, and Mateo Lareda. Now Erskine looking for their third goal. Here comes a shot on goal, deflected away by Brazola off the foot of number 13, Grant Dickey. They're on for the fleet, five and a half to play in the first half. Headed out of bounds by Vanek, pass intended for Savage again, working that left wing. They prevent Erskine from getting too far ahead again. We're under five to play in the first half.
Throw in from the near side of the box. Cleared away by North Greenville. Whitehurst gets it back for the fleet though. He'll have a touch and send it way over the crossbar. Off target goal kick for Mateo Brazola. Or Brazola. Kick from Mazzola, lands right at Dickey's feet. Now they're trying to find number 29, Oliver, or Latimer. There's two 29s listed on the roster. That's interesting. Cross comes into the box, cleared away by Vanek. And out of bounds to the fly, to North Greenville. Crusaders looking for the attack. And it trickles into the Erskine backfield. They'll get the Flying Fleet have it. They're still passing around in the Erskine backfield. Three minutes to play in first half action. They'll try to attack downfield. They have Whitehurst there. He's battling hard with Vanek. And now he gets tangled up with number 11, with Rigolato. And Whitehurst takes a tumble, but it's picked up by his teammate. Now they'll try to find Savage on the left wing. Has it knocked away by Vanek. And Fleet will keep the Fleet will keep possession with two and a half left. Throw in the Savage. Bounced around. Now they'll try to work it into the box. They won't have a shot though. Galino cannot get an open look and now it's gonna go out of bounds and Erskine gets a corner out of it. Short corner taken, Erskine trying to get into the box. Defended well, cleared by NGU. Player goes down for Erskine. And he's still down. We'll have to see if they stop play when Erskine gets back to the other end of the field. That's Galino down in the left wing. He's slow to get up. He's on. And now they'll have to stop play. Yeah, he's holding his left thigh. While they get somebody out there to look at Galino as Erskine was heading back the other way. And here comes Mateo Barzola to check on him. Looks like it's a, just a stinger and Galeno will walk it off. And the kick away by North Greenville. Straight to Erskine, so the Flying Fleet will get to keep possession after the injuries timeout. Minute and a half left to play in first half action. Erskine two, North Greenville nil. Fleet. Looks like they might try to play out the first half conservatively. One minute, 15 seconds left. Now maybe they want more and more. See if they cross midfield. North Greenville brings pressure and Erskine kicks it away. Final minute of the play. There goes out of bounds. North Greenville get a throw in. A chance with a minute left. Throw in, trying to get to the box, cleared away by Erskine. Gravely will have to go get it, but with 37 seconds left, gonna have one last good attack. North Greenville pressing, knocked away by Savage. Shores Vennett comes up to handle it, 22 seconds. Now they'll try to look to get into the Erskine box. Here's a pass to the near side. They'll work the right wing. Crusaders in business. Here's a cross off of Vanek. Vanek with a shot over the crossbar. Oh, 
off target and with four, three, two, one, that's the end of the first half. So North Greenville gets a couple of chances in the final minute, can't convert any of them into goals. And it's at the halftime break, Erskine 2-0 over North Greenville. Both goals courtesy of number four, Ross Henderson, the senior out of Lincoln, England, has the flying fleet up by two. So that's the end of your first half. We're at half between North Greenville and Erskine. Second half action coming up later on here on the North Greenville Sports Network. With the North Greenville Sports Network, I'm here with Ross Henderson, who sport, scored both goals for his team. Ross, thank you so much for being with me. <laughs> so could you tell us a little bit about what's going on on the field? What are the challenges that you see right now? Uh, at the moment, we've got a lot of possession, but we're not really doing a lot with it. We're holding onto the ball a little bit too much. Um, despite some good bits of play during the half, we need to keep a, a high level of uh, bouncing the ball about getting North Greenville to move about and break some gaps. Okay, awesome. And you're definitely doing something right if you've made some goals. So um, with that, what are you personally going to do and bring forth the second half of the game? Uh, really, I just want to play well. Uh, I've had a, a few dodgy games at the start of the season. Uh, those are my first two goals of the season, so I just want to keep it going, keep the positivity going through the team and, and getting us playing the football that we know we can play. All right, thank you so much. Back to you guys. And that was Gabby catching up with the leading goal scorer today for the Erskine Flying Fleet, number four, Russ Henderson, the senior out of Lincoln, England, has got his first two goals of the season, and he has his Flying Fleet team up 2-0 over North Greenville here at the half. Like I'm supposed to. 
biggest enemy is me, and even I can't stop me. They try to shut us down at an equal side. Forty-five minutes down, forty-five to go. Second half underway between North Greenville and Erskine. North Greenville in a hole. They need two goals to equalize. Three to win outright. They've got forty-five minutes to do it. 
Erskine received the second half kickoff and the Flying Fleet currently right back where they left off in possession and now North Greenville able to steal it away. Deflect it off, bringing it to the left wing. Here is, that is number 36, Joe Severs. Severs. Goal kick by Erskine. Now North Greenville has the ball loose in the Erskine backfield. Here comes a shot and it's saved one-handed by double zero CJ Cluck for Erskine, the freshman out of Greenville by way of Riverside with a one, got one glove on it. Chris Enden with the shot, shot on goal, but no good. Now Erskine back the other way. And the attacker gets tripped up on the far side of the box. It'll remain with the fleet. It comes across into the box. No problem. As here is Joe Seavers. Gravely looking to get it downfield, deflected away by Erskine. Whitehurst in control for the fleet. Bounced around on the far side between a couple of players. And Erskine unable to do anything with it. Player gets tripped up again, it'll stay with the flying fleet. Comes a free kick this high into the box, wide of the goal and out of bounds. Goal kick. Try to get back in business. A pass back to the keeper. And again, they'll try and get it forward. Now Erskine looking for their th third goal. And this one sent into the woods off the foot of number 15 for the Crusaders. Cordy clears it away. And Erskine with the throw in. Number 26, he's been having good def a good defensive night for the Flying Fleet, Zakeem Smith. And the Flying Fleet will get a corner as the deflected pass goes out of bounds from this near side corner. Here comes the corner. And deflected, and a nice one-handed save by the keeper for North Greenville. It looks like we've had a keeper change for the Crusaders. It's number zero. Not listed on the roster, so not quite sure who that is. Lucas, let's make sure we challenge there, lad. Be on his toes. <laughs> Erskine again trying to get the ball away. They get it away just a little too far ahead. And it's an easy stop for the keeper. Let's go. 
Victor Lobby on the right wing has his pass, has his ball pushed out of bounds, so he'll get it back. The fleet pressuring on the far sideline. Johnny Lind also there. It goes out of bounds again, still with the Crusaders. Now North Greenville. Here's a shot from distance right into the arms of the keeper, Cluck, from Johnny Lind. Offside flag goes up here on the near side. Erskine trying to get it quickly down the field. And here's Gravely. He'll try and pass forward. Lobby on the right wing, trying to pass forward. Erskine gets a man there, trying to keep it in bounds, and the Flying Fleet will do so. Lobby still not giving up, going after it. Now the Fleet have it. North Greenville with three defenders in the back, and the shot curling to the net. Easy stop for the keeper. Flying Fleet with a free kick upcoming. And they'll pass it back. Asa Wolf trying to provide pressure in the Erskine backfield. Erskine able to play keep away for the time being. Now trying to far wing. Erskine gets to that one. Tails Dominiques is there for the Flying Fleet. Crusaders able to steal the ball away. Pass back from number 21, Casey Brady. Now Erskine, here comes across into the box. Gravely there, clears it away for the Crusaders. And Erskine will let it go out of bounds. And it will remain with the Flying Fleet. Smith here on the right way. Now a deep shot down the field, looking for number 35 out there. Trying to get forward, Gunnar Gillen, and they'll go out of bounds, North Greenville gets it back. Header mistimed, Whitehurst gets it. Now they're trying to press into the Erskine backfield. North Greenville with an offensive chance. Cut it back to the middle part of the field. There's Lobby. Lobby makes one man miss, gets tripped up. And a foul against Erskine. Oh, 
Free kick, right in the middle of the field. Johnny Land, right to Cluck, and he has it. CJ Cluck keeping tonight for the Earth Can Flying Fleet, and the goalie change at halftime is now number 17, but wearing the number zero jersey, James Max Miller moves back to the keeper position. Headed back by Whitehurst for the fleet. Number 30, Martin Vendebeek out of Denmark. Now here come Fleet trying to make their four. way forward. North Greenville able to steal it away. Seavers knocked it free. Was the first man there. Now Erskine able to intercept that one and head it away. Number 15 gives chase for the Crusaders. Cordy goes after it but can't reel it in. Fleet with the throw in. Sayers able to steal that one away. Now Seavers racing for it, but it's knocked out of bounds by Vandebeek. Uh, number 12 for the Crusaders on the left wing. That's Chris Inman trying to work the ball around. Erskine gets it away from him, though. And Whitehurst aims it almost all the way down the field looking for, I think, that Savage. Uh, but Lucas Gravely steps in the way of it. That was a great block because that would have been an open field for the Flying Fleet had he not done that. And that was actually Ross Henderson. Talked to him during halftime. And he has the two goals that has the fleet up 2-0. As we have a shoe timeout. Two shoe timeouts. Throw in for the Crusaders. But once again, Erskine right there, able to intercept. Erskine working it in their backfield. They have Smith and Van de Beek are two of their defenders back there. And a mistake by the fleet. They kick it out of bounds. Seavers with the throw in. He goes to Gravely. And now, here comes Lobby, trying to pass it forward to Wolf. Now the Crusaders trying to work it to the left wing. They have Inman there, and Inman gets tangled up with a defender. And a foul goes against North Greenville. It will be given to Erskine. Flying Fleet, not looking to do anything crazy. That one headed back by Seavers. And now 
now the fleet respond with their own header. Here comes Smith up to handle it. Wolf giving Smith a hard time, able to get the ball away from him. Inman receives the pass. He'll hand it off. Number 21, Brady. Looking on the left wing of the box, he gets tangled up again with Smith. And now the fleet find Henderson again. Been quiet relatively the second half. Now they pop it over everybody's head. There goes number 10, Luke Boyce, and he gets tangled up with Gravely, and Gravely able to keep it from being a corner. Only what a, a throw in. What a defensive effort by Gravely right there. He had to run half the length of the pitch just to get to the ball. Throw into the fleet, near side edge of the box. Looking to get it in, double teamed. He goes to the ground and somehow able to keep it in. It finally rolls out, and this time it will be a corner for the fleet. Corner incoming, cleared away by the Crusaders. Crusaders, it's a four on two advantage, but Offside flag goes up against Asa Wolf. That was a yellow card. Yellow card against number 30, 33, Asa Wolf. He just let some frustration get to him. And the referees are not gonna allow that to happen. And the pass from Casey Brady lands at the foot of an Erskine attacker, now the fleet able to turn it around. And cleared away by the Crusaders once again, getting dangerously close to the back of the net. Fleet not done yet, here's Whitehurst. He tries to chip it down the middle of the field. And this one, high, cleared away, but right back the other way by the fleet. And they use a couple of headers to try and get it in position. It's tracked down by Crusader. Uh, nice jump move by the official to get out of the way. And Erskine able to step in the passing lane again, number 10 for the Flying Fleet. Luke Boyce gets in the way. Excellent block by Lobby, stepping in the way of that one. Fleet trying to rock down the left wing. North Greenville steps in the way. Try to turn it around, there goes Lobby. And he has number 12, Enman, but right to Cluck who will have the ball. Fleet again, trying to pass it off the far side. They have it. And now almost breaking free, but getting tripped up on the far side. Fleet will get a throw in. And a substitution for NGU, number 11. Juan Carlos Regalado. He'll check back in. Came in late in the first half. And 
head coach Chad Gefeller electing to use him again here in the second half. Now here's Smith, passes down the right wing, North Greenville intercepts that one. Crusaders trying to work it down the field. Edmund has to pass back and right to Whitehurst for the fleet. Johnny Lynn trying to check it down. Gives way and now number 25, Evan Mills will work on the ball. Here comes across, has Whitehurst in the middle of the box. But North Greenville able to step in the way down for the moment. And several players go down in a heap and the offside flag is up here on the near side as the ball sailed past Max Miller, so uh, no goal. North Greenville trying to make use of the space they have on the near side. Inman trying to work his way down. Finds Regalado for the moment. And that one knocked away by Erskine. Whitehurst ends up with the ball. Slide tackle by Regalado. Will stop play and result in a foul. And Erskine will get a free kick. An amazing slide tackle by Smith and Regalado. They get tangled up. They'll flip the field. North Green will get the ball going the other way. Free kick for Seavers. All the way down the field. This one headed in the direction of C.J. Cluck. North Greenville gives chase, but he handles it cleanly. Shot from the near side edge of the box. Right to Max Miller, makes the easy save from number 10 for the Flying Fleet, Luke Boyce. Erskine using the middle passing lanes. And again, a tangle up between number 18, Jake Quinn, and 37, Tails Dominiques. Dominics, Dominics for Erskine. Ball goes out of bounds, throw in for the fleet, they'll have it. He's trying to go down the field, headed away by the Crusaders. Here's Henderson, he's still looking for his hat trick. And he gets tangled up again, they'll call a foul. It's three of all the fleet will get it within range of the goal. Position right in the middle of the net. The free kick for the fleet. For Henderson to take it. And he tries to go right down the middle, but it bounces off a few players along the way and out. Now, who are they going to call it out on? And it's going to be a corner for the fleet last touched by NGU. And now Chad Savage will sub back in. And the goalies for Erskine are swapping out. CJ Cluck is coming out for the senior Nicholas Willenborg. Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. 
There comes the corner in, headed away. But right to Henderson, looking for his hat trick. Makes a shot over the crossbar, no good. And that one might make it all the way to the new track complex. Now North Greenville trying to counter the momentum, get it down the left wing. Here's Chris Edmond looking to the middle of the field. There's Wolf, has a man open, Johnny Lynn for a moment. And we mentioned the keeper change. Nicholas Willenborg records his first save. And gets it out of there. North Greenville will try to put it back in though. Here comes Lobby. Whitehurst on defense. Lobby passes to Lynn. Now they try to flick it back to Lobby. Lobby, here comes a cross. Deflected away by Erskine, intended for Wolf. North Greenville can't get back to it in time. Here it comes to the near side. Erskine off. Bounces off Erskine, out of bounds. Crusaders like to take a throw in quickly. Less than 19 minutes left to play. Crusaders got to get something going. Out of bounds off of Shores. Vanek on the far side. Flying Fleet, get it. Now Flying Fleet intercept that pass. North Greenville gets it right back though. There's Edmund. They try to work the middle of the field, he gets the pass back. Working backwards again. Finds number 18, that was Jake Quinn. Now Crusaders working in the box, deflected away by Dominguez for the fleet. Now here's Seavers, pass back Quinn, deflected again, Quinn gets it right back. Working to the near side, Inman is there again, he gets tangled up with Smith, they're still scrapping for it. Here's Seavers, cross into the box, missed the header by Lobby. And now here comes the shot, saved by Willenborg. That one was from Lind. North Greenville still gets it back. They'll try across again into the box, headed away by the fleet. And cleared away by Dominguez. Lucas Gravely steaming down the field and tracks it down. And Max Miller has to get it out of there as he has a face full of Henderson. And out of bounds and just to our left. Out of bounds, it'll be a throw in Crusaders. That one had a chance to get up here. Haven't been managed to get hit by a soccer ball yet. Softball, yes. So soccer ball, no. Baseball, almost. Yeah, we've had a couple of those come our way, too. Smith chips that one off a of North Greenville defender. Fleet gets to retain possession. So while they track down the ball in the forest, we'll continue play here. And two North Greenville players collide and the fleet will get it back further down the sideline. Still battling for it here on the near side. It's going to be a goal kick for Max Miller. Coming up to the 75th minute, Erskine 2, North Greenville nothing. Whitehurst and Regalado get tangled up. And a free kick for the Crusaders. Down 2-0, trying to get something going. Erskine has been raiding the pass lanes all night. Free kick, they'll make it into the box. 
Who's gonna come down with it? The keeper, Willenborg. And he'll get it out of there. Line drive kick. And now the fleet. There goes Dickey into the box. And another corner saved. That one by Seavers. Just confirmed they did find the ball in the woods. Crusaders trying to work that far sideline, get it away from Erskine. And that one cleared out of bounds. The fleet will get it back, but further back. Far side edge, this time it'll go out of bounds and Max Miller will get a goal kick. Has to set it up quick. We're under 14 minutes to play. Whitehurst, the first player to get to it. And there goes Wolf. Wolf trying to get around the flying feet, fleet defense. He rips it away. Wolf takes a shot right to Willenborg. Another incredible save by Nicholas Willenborg, senior out of Niceville, Florida. Now there's Henderson, and now they have another flying fleet player open, but no foul called as he goes down in the box and it's gonna go out of bounds. There'll be a throw in from the Crusaders, not quite a goal kick. <laughs> throw in for the Crusaders on that far side. It'll go out of bounds. Fleet have it. Smith looking down the field, doesn't have anybody down there. And Erskine able to come with the ball. There goes Dickey and Gravely with a shot down the field. North Greenville with players forward. Inman can't quite hang on to it. Smith gets it out of there for Erskine. That one bounces off Seavers. And there that goes Brady trying to look down the field for Inman and it's gonna go out of bounds a few yards in front of him. And North Greenville hasn't quit. They're playing with some extreme intensity trying to score and win this game. They're coming up to the 80th minute. Still time left, but there has to be a sense of urgency out there now for the Crusaders. Here comes a shot right to Max Miller from number 10 for the Flying Fleet. That's Luke Boyce on target, but not enough steam on it. Willenborg playing keep away, gets it forward to his team. And now here comes Wolf. Wolf with some space, has a shot into the net. And Wolf wants to get back to the line and go. He ran into the net, grabbed the ball. They're gonna line this one up quick. Actually, they stopped the clock anyway, so no rush for the Crusaders. As a couple of substitutes come in. Asa Wolf with the goal, cuts the lead to 
And that's that sense of urgency you, you were talking about. The Crusaders have shown it, and now, after being down two goals almost the entire match, they're within one with 10 minutes to play. Now they've got to find the tough one. They've got to get the equalizer. Ten and a half minutes left. And now here comes Erskine. They, they might, they're looking to put this one away. Seaver steps in front of it, makes a man miss, makes him miss again, and finally gets it out of there. And now here comes Wolf. He's looking down the field. That one cut away by Erskine, looking for number 14 down the field, Andre Sakar. Throw in to Quinn. Now they go back. Looking to the far side, trying to find Lobby. Lobby trying to get a crossing, gets tangled up, and an offside flag goes up on the far side of it from the far side official. Greenland not done yet. They're still battling for it. Here they come. They're working it down the field. They're trying to look to the near side. Number nine, Brandon Harrison into the box. Here comes a cross. In the middle of the box, a shot by Lobby. Bounced around and cleared away. Here's Seavers. He brings it back down. Seavers, shot from distance. Off an Erskine defender. They want a handball. And they're not going to get it. Now a penalty against, or a foul against Erskine will give it to the Crusaders in decent field position to try and get this one into the box and get a couple of players to have a shot at it. Free kick from Lobby, he'll take it. Cross into the box, and the ball's still loose, and it's head to the net! <laughs> Tied ball game. <laughs> Number 14 for North Greenville, Andre Sakar, the freshman out of Nor Coping, Sweden, not us at two. And that's that level of urgency and intensity we've been looking for this entire match. We are equalized, eight minutes to play. This is not over. Crusaders, two goals and two and a half minutes. And Erskine, been in control of this ball game for almost 80 minutes. North Greenville ties it up at two. Now, can they possibly find the third one? And Sakar pressuring again. They have to kick it back to the keeper. It's gonna be a slow kick. Sakar almost gets to it. Now here comes number nine, trying to get it away. That one's Harrison. This one sits straight up in the air. Seavers battling for it. And a foul, I'll give it to North Greenville. Smith takes it quickly. Running down the field, right to Max Miller. Kick from Miller, down the field, headed back by Smith, out of bounds. Throw in Crusaders. And Smith gets to that one again. Now there goes the fleet, they're trying to get it down the right wing, number 29. Latimer or Oliver. He loses it out of bounds. They'll call a free kick here on the near side. Grant Dickey will be the one to take it. Coming 
Comes the kick, it's got good distance, but deflected away by North Greenville. Here's a break down the far side. Chipped up, looking for Sakar. They can't get him, and Erskine pops it up. They'll bring it near side. It's gonna go out of bounds across the midfield stripe. North Greenville still in business, six minutes to play. Seavers with the throw in. Looking down the field, finds a man, deflects out of bounds, still with the Crusaders. Here comes a throw in. Has good distance, makes it out of the box, but nobody's there, and Erskine's able to get it out. Crusaders trying to get it down the other way. It's a pop-up. Erskine wanting off sides. They'll get it. Dickey finally brings it down for the fleet. It's headed out of bounds by the Crusaders. The throw in taken quickly. This one bounces the wrong way. Far edge of the box. Here comes a cross in. Gravely pops it up and out of bounds and the fleet will have to settle for a corner. And here's a chance for Erskine to possibly try and put this one away in regulation. Under five minutes to play. Any goal now might be the last one. They elect just to pass it off. They don't take the corner. Now here comes the cross. Laser beam off the right post. No good. Max Miller on the goal kick. Headed backwards by North Greenville, popped the other way to Whitehurst. Now Dickey being pressured, but gets us to a team here on the near side. That's number 35. Gilland is there. Now Smith, right to Gravely. Smith gets it back into the box. Bounces off a player. Here comes a shot. Way off target from Gilland. It'll be a goal kick. Neither one of these teams is quitting. They want this win. Kick by Miller makes it to the midfield stripe. And Erskine sends it back the other way. They're trying to find a player in the midfield. Miller fields it easily just before. Latimer or Oliver, there's two 29s. Before one of those can get to it. Under three to play. North Greenville able to sneak up and intercept that pass. Evading the defense. They got to make Whitehurst miss. They get around Whitehurst. Here comes a pass off to Seavers. Seavers back again to Bra Brady. Brady trying to chip shot it into the box. Headed away by the fleet. And now Dickey will head the other way. He's got a face full of Quinn, he gets it away from Quinn. Now Gravely gets around the pass and a shot gonna grow slowly into the net. The number 29 for the fleet. Darnell Oliver breaks the tie, 221 left. After that, it's 3-2, Erskine back out in front. Can NGU come up with another miracle? 
The two goals North Greenville scored came in a span of less than three minutes. Let's see if they can't do it again. They've got two to work with right now. Ball still out. Erskine able to keep possession of it. Battling hard for that far side and North Greenville will win it back. They stopped the clock, a minute 48 left. And they're still trying to get the throw in keyed in. Here it comes. And on the far side for North Greenville, evading the defense, looking for the cross attempt. Here it comes, they'll bring it near side. Headed in, right to Will and Borg. Brady had a good look, just not enough power on it. And that is, that, that is 29, Darnell Oliver, that did just, just score. So he is the second number 29. And he is the 29 that's out on the field right now. And he's got the ball right now. He hands it off. Here comes a pop shot, and it's going to miss wide of the right post. Miller again out of position, but lucky to watch that one go. One minute to play. One minute remaining. As a mysterious voice confirms, one minute. Erskine unable to keep it from going out of bounds. Crusaders get it back. They get it back in. Smith steps in the way again. Twenty-six point one left to play. Foul against Erskine. Crusaders get it back. Got to find another equalizer. They get a free kick right here. And the goalkeeper's coming up. Miller's coming up. It's going to be an empty net for North Greenville. Miller has to run the full length of the field to get in position to give North Greenville an extra player. Here comes the uh, cross in. And it's up and deflected away. Still loose in the box. Bounces around off a couple of players. And Erskine will get it back after all that drama with the clock rolling under 15 seconds. And now Miller has to run back all the other way. And I don't think Erskine's going to be in any rush to take this. Five seconds left, three, two, and one, and the goal kick will end it for Erskine. So after a late rally by North Greenville, ties us back up at two, a late goal by Darnell Oliver, the freshman out of Ackworth, Georgia, by way of Alatoona High School, inches the flying fleet back out in front, and that finally puts North Greenville away. So Erskine gets their third win of the season. 3-3-1 three, three, and one is now their record after tying with King in their last game out. And North Greenville, despite the rally, will fall to 1-5. and five. But you have to appreciate the effort the North Greenville Crusaders gave today. Coming off a three-game, four-game losing streak, three of them where they were outscored 14 to one. They came to play today, and even though they were down close to 80 minutes in this match, they came back late, just yeah, did not come out on top. Hopefully this will instill some confidence that this team still does have a very good shot at the rest of the season, and they can get back on the right side of things. While we wait for Gabby to catch up with a couple of players down on the field, I'd like to remind you of the broadcast schedule. Uh, after these two soccer games, uh, soccer takes to the road along with women's volleyball. 
Uh, men will be at Limestone as well as the women. So a soccer doubleheader from Limestone on the 25th. And then women's volleyball will be at Mount Olive. That is all Conference Carolina's action. The next home broadcast will certainly be an interesting one if we can get it off. The 26th, Saturday morning, women's tennis against Newberry College at 10 a.m. And then men's tennis as well, also against Newberry College at 10 a.m. And then football against the University of North Carolina at Pembroke. Night game from Yount Stadium just across the hill from where we are here at Pepsi Stadium over at Yount's. That one at 7 p.m. against the University of Pembroke, Pembroke in football. And then the next soccer broadcast, women against Bob Jones, September 29th at 7. The men take to the field on the 30th, a day later, also at 7, against Laurel University. And that will round out your September broadcast schedule. Of course, you can check all that at ngcrusaders.com as well as recap scores and stats from tonight's games and more. That is ngcrusaders.com. So unfortunately, it looks like the team interviews will have to wait. North Greenville will go into their, uh, their team meetings immediately to try begin working for their next couple of games. So we, uh, we apologize for not being able to get the post-game interviews, but uh, that will have to wait until the next series of games. But the women win today behind Lindsay two, two goals against Erskine, but the men fall to Erskine in the second game. Thank you for listening for another exciting evening of Crusader Athletics here on Ustream and the North Greenville Sports Network. So thank you for listening as North Greenville Soccer splits today's games against Erskine. The women win, the men fall to Erskine here on the North Greenville Sports Network. Right there.